All right, so those of you who don't know what GNS3 is, GNS3 is basically a network simulator and iOS emulator. So you go to gns3.com, you create an account, and then you log in with your email and password. Then you select a version for your operating system. In my case, I have a Mac. So then this comes up, just click cancel. We don't need to do anything right now with this. And on a Mac, I need root access, so I just click on yes. So you need to go to File, Preferences in order to bring this Windows up, and then you need to install the, the uh, iOS images as VMs. So you go to Kimu, VMs, then you click on New. Click OK. So here you can put whatever name you like, it doesn't really matter. Click Next. So here change your RAM to 768 and then the binary you can choose. Right now I have a 3264-bit processor which is the default. Click Next. This comes up, I don't really care, so I just click OK. So leave the default telnet and click Next. So here you need to browse for your images. I think I have mine on the desktop. and you find where okay so I have it in download so you find the uh, the image you want to import or use in GNS3 then you click and open this comes up so I don't want to move anything I just want to leave it exactly where it is right now it's in the download folder so I just want to leave it there so you in my case I would click no and then open and that's what it looks like and I click on finish alright so right now I have my image in GNS3 that I can use but I need to change some of these settings So, the name, that's the name of the template. It's not going to show up in GNS3. So, for the uh, default name, I have router. And I change the symbol. You can download anything you like from the internet and change the symbol. GNS3 allows you to do that. Category routers. Again, this is a, a screenshot from a previous installation that I did so even though I am installing a switch right now this was these are screenshots from a router that I previously installed so just pretend that instead of routers it says switch so the RAM and basically here what you need to do is just uh, nothing much change the category to a switch uh, the name to a switch Then on the hard drive, make sure the disk image is exactly where it's supposed to be. You can also change it here if you move it later. Uh, the disk interface, I have this one selected. This one works best. You can play around with these settings if you like, but this works for me and that's what I'm showing here. For network, I have 8 adapters and 8 per segment. For the name format, what this does is the same name of the interface that you're going to see in the iOS is the same name that GNS3 is going to show you.
when you are connecting devices, creating links. So that's all I need to change here. Uh, eight adapters, segment of eight, and the uh, gigabit interface. So advanced settings, I don't need to change anything, but I'm including the screenshot in case you mess this up. This is what it's supposed to look like. And if you want, you can um, change here to install the appliances. So it doesn't show you everything that GNS3 is capable of running. It only shows you the ones that you can use. So since I installed the switch already, so in order for GNS3 to allow you to use your devices like routers and switches you need to create a project first so as you can see on the title I have 001 that's the name of my project so once you create a project it allows you to drag and drop and then you can just right click on it and turn this switch on let it run and then you can log into the console so when you first click on it, you can you can select start and then console to look at the boot process. And once it's booted, you can start using it just like that. It's no brainer. So that's about it.